Hello, everyone. Welcome to the quiz tonight. I hope you're all ready and all got your brain boxes on. Uh, right, okay. I said the code tonight will be D35635. That's all you got to do. So follow that, kwbit.com. Then you can log into, obviously, the quiz app. Use your other phone, uh, D35635. And that should be it. Uh, somebody texted me. We did try this earlier with James, and there was about a two-second gap. Not too bad. Uh, a lot of people said uh, last week you could see the uh, you could see the uh, the question before I actually said it. That's fine because you can't see the answers until I click the button. So doesn't matter. Yeah. So people who said that there was a bit of an issue last week wasn't actually an issue. It was just the way it is. Yeah. So yeah. So when you go in, eh, I'll click the button. You'll see the question. And then I'll send you the answers. And then you've got to get it right. So, yeah, so hopefully there isn't no delay. I did play around with it, like I said, so should be all right there. Uh, we've got quite a few teams. And we've got sound tonight. We mean James saw it out. So, yeah, so we've got a bit of sound effects, so even better. Yeah, we need a little bit of that. Uh, I did have a portable mouse. Don't know where it's gone. Uh, but, ah, there he is. Yeah, so I don't have to keep going, ah, Oh, to give you the answers, so I can just sit here, relax. I might even stand, I might even stand in my white jeans. Yeah, I might even stand up, and then you can see me do it as we go. Yeah, all fun, isn't it? Yeah, we've got 23 teams at the minute, that's good, 23 teams. Uh, we've got Sloppy Blossers, we've got Billy and Dan, hello, Billy and Dan, Dancing Queen, The Grifter, uh, John Street, or Joanne Street, The A-Team. Who else we got tonight? Paige, hello Paige. Les Quizrables from last week. Not Scooby from last week. Hello again. Team Humphreys, the wins. Mr. Johnson, Dark Horse, Adam Fuller, Seth Warriors, Matt and Betty. Hello, Matt and Betty. Thick old Paolo, Rebecca, Mr. Johnson, and Just Jazz Hands. Quizlamic State, The Beers, Nags Wanderer, Smartini. Hello, Smartini. I don't think you were in last week. If you were, I apologise. Will, Space Rangers, uh, Lou Jam, Eggheads, Game of Phones, hello again. Big Peckers, it's obviously the Pecks. Hello, Big Peckers, you wish. Red Machine, North Queens, Slackers, Team Anza. Who else we got? Yeah, it's going crazy this week. Trudy Holloway, Fish Faces, as a new one. Dodgy Quizness, won it six times, hello again. Fifi, hello Fifi, and the governess so far. So yeah, how many is that? That's 40 people, or 40 teams. Hey, this is good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good having all these people. I mean, last week there was 42, but I think six of you dropped out. I don't think you dropped out intentionally. I think it was just a fact of the internet. Now, if... Uh, who said this? Glambus Beauty. Hi. Some of the questions we were up on the screen so long last week before answers came up that it would have given people enough time to Google the answers. Yes, I totally agree, Glambus. But if people have to Google the answers, it's a bit pointless quiz, isn't it? You know we're going to get some people cheating, but it is just a bit of fun, isn't it? Yeah, we've just got a 20 quid prize. It's not like we're winning a million pound. You know, when no one's coughing in the background. <laughs> Not coronavirus. That is the quiz program we watched last week, obviously, on the uh, who wants to be a millionaire. Whether or not you cheated, who knows? But, yeah, there isn't any room to cheat. 20 seconds. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it. But it is just a bit of fun. Uh, hopefully it keeps you entertained for an hour and a half. Uh, and it keeps me entertained. Apart from, obviously, all the cleaning I've been doing, you probably see me painting, decorating today. Yes, again. I've thankfully got it all off my hands. Not that there's any terps in the town. Uh, but, yeah, so don't worry about people Googling it. If they're going to Google it, let them. You're having a bit of fun, and that's all it's about. So, yeah. So if you want that code again, it is D35635. Okay, so go to kwbit.com. Uh, oh, all right, Scott, looking forward to this week's quiz. Thank you, Scott. I'm looking forward to doing it. Uh, Glandus Beauty, I agree that some people need to take the... Oh, ha, 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 it's great, a bit of fun. I'll have a week. Thank you, appreciate that. Bye, that looks good, Chris. Cheers, Paul. Yeah, it only took about three hours to do because I'm a one-man band at the minute with all my lovely staff on 80% furlough, sitting on the bombs, borrowing my jet washer. Obviously, hopefully uh, they can come and help me once this uh, 
lockdown gets lifted slightly. Let's hope so anyway. Uh, I wouldn't mind going out myself. Not like there's going to be any pubs open, I don't think. Not for the foreseeable. And if they do, don't know about obviously uh, distancing. I really don't know how we can do that. If we're collecting glasses, how do we do it? Here you go to the toilet. How do you distance? Small toilets. But we will come around with some ideas and uh, hopefully it'll run smoothly. But you know you'll get some people just spoil it for everyone else. But uh, hey, that's me rambling on anyway. Uh, we're up to 45 teams at the minute. I'll give a shout out to the other people who are on it. Uh, so where do we get to? We've got to Beers, the Smartinis, Lou Jam, Eggheads, Game of Thrones, Big Packers, Slackers, Hello Slackers, North Queens, Team Anzai, we had them once, Fish Faces, Dodgy Christmas. Where do we get up to? You Reds, hello you Reds again. Shares and Dave, hello again. The, Mr. Skywalker, Not the Dragons, Phil Coe, and Quizagabusi, and Killer Keemstar. Killer Keemstar? If I get any of these pronunciations wrong, tough. Yeah, some of your random team names are getting uh, crazier every week, which is good. Bit of fun, isn't it? Uh, who, who's texting me now? Like Tim Carl, I know you said, but could you type the code on here, buddy? Yes, I can. Let's have a look. Code is D three five six three five. Enter. There you go. Right, you've got the code there. So D three five six three five. That is correct, Grifter Smith. Thanks, Grifter. That's no problem. I'll hold you up again, just in case you didn't understand my accent. D three five six three five kwbit.com. Yeah, easy as that. I'll hold you up for a little bit longer. Quiz on my face. God, even worse. Well done, though. Quiz on my face. Mm. Cheers, everyone. I hope you've all been staying safe and well and at home. Not too bored. I'm sure we've all got things you can be doing at home. All that DIY the wife's asked you to do for years and not done it. Right, somebody's joined in the code. So a quiz team is D35635. Yeah, no, that's the code, guys. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, you can have it. Tim C. That's Tim Cowell, I believe. Jane Lloyd, how have you been on the sunbed, Chris? Yes, I have. And I own a sunbed, so... I had it in storage. I brought it out, and I know it's bad for you, but I need a little bit of uh, bit of fun. Rebel scum, hello, rebel scum. Davis joined the quiz tonight. Uh, is he looking brown? Yeah, a little bit pasty. Maybe it's the yellow shirt. Maybe that's what's making it look a little bit browner. Anyway, enough of that. 51 teams, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourself all a big round of applause. We have people from north, south, east and west on here tonight. Uh, a big shout out to my northern family. Uh, or as we say up north, all right, all right. We don't say that in Teesside. We're diluted Geordies. We're called smoggies. But uh, yeah, hello to everyone. I'm sure there's people in Billingham tonight. Red car. I think someone in Stockton on the sheet looking at that one. Uh, and the rest of my lovely Wrexham family and friends, thank you for joining the quiz. Tan looks good, Jane Lloyd. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, it was absolutely boiling last week, as you know. So I was in the garden. You see me jet washing. You see me doing more uh, more stuff to the blinds, more painting. So I did actually get a bit of tan from the garden. Okay. So it wasn't just a sunbed. Can you say hello, Team Humphreys, Chris, my gav, my mate gav? Yes, no problem. How are you doing, uh, Team Humphreys? Welcome to the quiz. Not sure if you were in last week. Bed. Uh, <laughs> James, stop texting me. It comes right into the screen. Grifter Smith, C. What's that about, Grifter? Anyway, who else have we had to join in the quiz tonight? Uh, go all the way down to the bottom. There's 51 teams. Dodd Slane, Dodd Slane. I guess if I got that pronunciation wrong, can't be wrong. D O D D S L A N E. Hello, Dodd Slane. I don't believe you joined the quiz till tonight, so that's good. And if you have, again, I apologise, but there's a lot of scrolling to go up and down on. I think, I think we'll sell with 52 teams. Yeah, yeah. So shall we get the quiz started? Yeah, a bit of fun, isn't it? 
Right, okay, so for Chris, can you have a happy sixth birthday shout out to my son Theo? Theo, a very happy lockdown sixth birthday. Uh, I hope you're going to get some of these answers for the parents because uh, they're banking on you getting them 20 quid. And I'm sure when they come in the pub, they'll bring you and they'll get you a lovely little meal and a nice drink. And if you don't, they're bad parents. Tell them, my birthday, I stayed at home, I want a treat. Maybe they might give you the 20 pound. I don't know. How good are they, the parents? If they're bad, give them a slap. But I'm sure they're going to treat you. Well, anyway, happy sixth birthday. You know, I know it must be hard when you're locked in the house and uh, not much things to do. But yeah, happy birthday, Theo. Right, okay, we've got 54 teams. So I think obviously people are just coming in late. Not a problem. Fifi, you've joined twice for some reason. Why is that? Fifi, Fifi, you've got two teams, unless there's two people called Fifi. But it doesn't matter. You'll get the scores at the same time. Uh, right, for those who haven't played the quiz before, it is six rounds. Each round consists of 12 questions. Now, in the 12 questions, it's either... Uh, one of two options. You can pick one, two, three, or four. I will let you know if it changes. Just count on it as being one of the four options. Okay, now the way you get points is obviously you get it right. If you want to get more points, fastest finger first. We all know this. So the faster you answer the question, the more points you get. Now, this comes in as a thing where someone mentioned about Googling. Yes, you might Google it, but you're not going to get it fastest finger, are you? So all you guys who got it fastest and you were clever and you knew it, you're going to get extra points. I can't say fairer than that. Okay, now at the end of every round, there's an evil question. Now the evil question is evil, because if you don't know, you don't answer it, you lose points. If you answer it incorrectly, you lose points. If you get it right, you get lots of points, okay? Easy as that, okay? I'm not sure exactly how many points you get extra. Somebody did mention it last week, it was 10. I've been told it's different, but... Uh, it's a point anyway, so that's it. So yeah, every round's going to be different. Some are going to be pitch rounds, some are going to be general knowledge. I think we've got some science tonight, a little bit of science, science for you. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to rock and roll anyway. So we are up to a total, let's see if we beat the record, 54. Yes, record was 52, so 54 teams I'm happy with. So let's get started. Okay, and if your computer crashes, don't worry, log back in. Just use the same code, your scores will get transferred over, okay? If your internet goes down, I'm sorry, but it's not our fault. Our internet's strong. Nothing we can do about that. It's down to your provider. I uh, can't speak for, obviously, everyone's houses, but my internet's quite strong tonight. So let's get started. Okay, so remember, fastest finger ready. Okay, now round one is a science and nature round. Okay, so we make terrible science puns predorically. Mm. Okay, so. Like I said, I hope you can hear the music. I can hear this end. Okay, so question one, it's a picture question. So I'll transfer the picture over to you in a minute, and then I'll show you the answers. Okay, all you gotta do, pass this finger. Okay, so this symbol for which chemical element? So this is the symbol for which chemical element? Remember, if it crashes on your system, log back in. Just remember the codes, D35635. You might want to write that down. D35635. Okay, so when it's six times, got the fastest finger on that one, so you get the extra points. Well done. Uh, zirconium. Zirconium. C-I-R-C-O-N-I-U-M. Now, if I got your pronunciation wrong, again, unlucky. It is just what it is. I spell it so you know it. Okay, moving on, question two. Now, with this one, you've got to put the answers in the correct order, okay? So, organize the following geographical eras from earliest to latest. And I believe when we did the test earlier with James, uh, you can actually see if you got it wrong. 
Yeah, this was quite good because I did a go at my, my end as well. So I actually played along while I did it. Uh, it's quite interesting that actually you get to see if you got it right or wrong. Uh, there's a few got it right, a few got it wrong on that one by the looks of it. Uh, dodgy quizness, though you've got it fast as finger. So well done on that one. Uh, the correct answers for that one. Again, pronunciations. Procambrian, Pazalozioc, Maziozioc, and Kanzioc. Yeah. You got it right if you got it right. Ended around 248 million years ago. Uh, Mosaic ended around 65 million years ago. And Senziak began around 65 million and used to be to the present day. Quiz fact. Whether or not you're interested, probably not. Just want the points. and saying, carry on, Chris. You're just waffling. Okay, so moving on to question three. This one, you need to answer two answers from the four possible options. Okay. So which of the following are the two hottest planets in the solar system? Hmm. Well, there we go. Okay, so Fifi, you got it faster than that one. Well done, Fifi. Uh, the answer was Mercury and Venus. Yeah, they are the two closest to the sun, obviously. Obviously. So approximately what percentage of the Earth's surface is covered by water? Dodgy quizness, what went wrong? And we do name and shame people in this quiz. It is only a bit of fun. Okay, uh, Big Peckers, well done. You got the fastest answer in that one. And the answer was obviously you knew it there, Big Peckers, and a lot of other people did. Is 71% of the Earth's covered by water. So there we are. Okay, question five is choose one answer from the four options. Okay, which of the following was invented in 1913? It was a zip. Yeah, won it six times. You've got the fastest finger on that. Uh, quiz fact. It took over 20 years before tailors begin to use the zip for trousers instead of buttons. There we are. Quiz fact. Okay. Question six is tap these answers in the correct order. Okay. So tap these answers in the correct order. 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 Organize the following human body bones by their average length from longest to shortest. I want to see uh, Sloppy Blossers get the fastest finger. Is going to get the fastest finger tonight? I don't think they did last week, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so it's a femur, tibia, fibula, and humerus. Okay, and Thicko Paolo, you've got the fastest finger in that one. Well done. So the femur, thigh bone, tibia, shin bone, fibula, lower leg bone, and humerus is the upper arm bone. That's why they call it the funny bone, but it's not really funny when you bang it, is it? Humorous. Okay, right, moving on to question seven. On this one, you need to pick two of the answers from the possible four. Okay, in Einstein's theory of relativity, E equals MC squared, what does the E and the M represent? Ooh, you're all on fire on this one. Come on, Grifter. Okay, so 
Tess Tickles. Tess Tickles. You got a fast finger on that one. Well done. Tess Tickles. Let's make it. Hey, make it. Tess Tickles. Tess Tickles. I had to think about that then, actually. The wife was laughing, and I was thinking, why was she laughing at? Tess Tickles. Yeah. Anyway, you got the fastest answer on that one. Uh, energy and mass. That was the answer. Energy and mass. Okay. Tess Tickles. Oh, uh, question eight. Get them all, don't you? Hey, uh, mother. Uh, type the correct number for question eight. Okay, so how many bones does the human hand have? Answers can be within three of the answer. So how many bones does the human hand have? I think I don't. I don't see the answers, by the way. Not until it comes up at the end. So this is all uh, it's all a surprise for me when I see it's coming through. I said 24. It was 27. Yeah, so Space Rangers, you can do fastest than that one. So you get the extra points. A lot of you got the answer right. I wouldn't have got it right because I said 24, but 27. That was close. Not bad for a thick off from up and off. Okay, so question nine. Choose one answer from the four in this one. Cinephobia is a fear of what? Or kinophobia is a fear of what? C Y N O P H O B I A. Cynophobia. Cynophobia. I'm going to go with cynophobia. Anyone wants to text me over on the screen at the bottom here, you can tell me if I was wrong. Or just put a thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, it's a fear of dogs. Yeah, they call Paolo, though. you knew that one. You scared of dogs? Dogs are lovely. Not as nice as cats, though. Cats rule, dogs drool. There's one, just what bust. A cat, that was. Okay, question 10. Right, you need to tap these answers in the correct order on this one. Organize the following animals by their average weight from heaviest to lightest. Right, a few more there. Everyone got it there. Well done. So it was uh, Matt and Becky. Oh, well, Matt and Becky. There you go. Clap for you. You got the uh, fastest finger in that one. Uh, blue whale, whale shark, African elephant, a white rhinoceros. <laughs> rhinoceros. Yeah, that was the answers. Okay, question 11. You know, on this one, you need two answers from the four, okay? Which two of the following animals are officially extinct? Mm. A lot of uh, a lot of people getting this one wrong. Let's see where the sloppy blazers came up. Now you got it wrong, sloppy blazers, as you can see on your screen. Adam Fuller, though, well done, Adam Fuller. Dodo and passenger pigeon. There are approximately sixty amur leopards left in the world. Why we needed to know that, I don't know, but that was a quiz fact. But the answers was dodo and passenger pigeon. But well done, Adam Fuller. Okay, so question 12 is the evil question. Like I said, you've got to answer it. If you don't answer it, you lose points. If you answer it correctly, you get lots of points. If you choose not to answer it or get it wrong, you, yeah, you lose points. So how many hearts does an octopus have? Sloppy blazers. When did you come last week? 38. You want to get your score up this week? Okay, Nags Wanderer, you got the fastest finger on that one. Uh, and for those who didn't get it right, the answer was three. Yes, the octopus has three hearts. Okay, 
So uh, that's the end of the round. So that's round one. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, now that's it. We're done tonight. Thank you very much for playing. Oh, it's joking. We've got another five fantastic fun rounds. Okay, so don't go anywhere. Okay, right. At the end of every round, I'm going to tell you from fifth to first because there's no point going from 54 to one. So if you want to know, you should be able to see on the side of your screens. Don't mess around with it too much. It may crash. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start at six tonight because a good friend of mine, uh, two good friends of mine from Billingham are in there, Matt and Becky, uh, you came six. So you're doing all right. Okay, so yeah, next round, obviously, everything can turn around with the fastest finger. So yeah, Matt and Becky, you got 1,262 points in that round. Okay, fifth came, won it six times with 1,278, so just a little bit ahead. Uh, fourth place was Nags Wanderer, 1,349 points. Uh, about 100 ahead with Big Peckers, and third with 1,442. I can hear them shouting. Ah, oh, the pecks, turn your volume down. Uh, uh, second, the beers, well done, beers, 1,452. But ahead with 200 points ahead of that is you reds. No cheating, you reds, no Googling. I'm only joking. We had this conversation earlier about people using Google. And I'm sure that isn't the case, but you've got fastest fingers on a few of them. So you reds, you came first in that round. Well done. Okay, and you won it the other week, I believe. Yeah, two weeks ago. Well done. But anything can change in the next four or five rounds. Okay, so swiftly moving on. This is a general history round. So how are you doing with history? Any good at it? Well, we're going to see, aren't we? Okay, it's not all horrible. We hope. Okay, uh, so question one is a picture question. So I'll transfer a picture to your device, whatever that may be. And all you got to do is just press the right answer. Okay, what is the name of this US president who had a home called Hermitage? Okay, it's Andrew Jackson, uh, Dodge Lane. You got a fast finger on that one. Yeah, this house is located in Tennessee and it was the home of the seventh US president. Okay, question two is tap the correct number. Okay, so just tap the correct number into your device. In what year did the Battle of Waterloo take place? Answers can be within five of the answer. People texting me tonight. You know, we had a good old uh, live chat going on on the screen last week alongside here. Nobody wants to talk tonight for some reason. Obviously, nothing's wrong, which is good. Fingers crossed, nothing goes wrong. Okay, uh, answer was 1815. Uh, Thicko Paolo, you got that one. Got the right, fastest finger that is. Uh, it was fought on Sunday, the 18th of June, near Waterloo in Belgium, part of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands at that time. Hmm. There we go. Learn something new. Okay, so question three needs two answers from the four possible options, okay? Which two of the following did Abraham, did Abraham Lincoln do? Okay, Will, well done. Fast finger on that one. He did bartend and wrestle. Yeah, besides being a wrestling champ, Lincoln was also a licensed bartender in Illinois. Yes, didn't name a cocktail after him, I don't think. Not like the Harvey Wallbacker. Good cocktail. Okay, question four is choose one answer from the four options. Okay, which Greek historian is known as the father of history? 
Well, it's only why it's in call that. Uh, you can have multi you can have history or history. Yeah, it's not very politically correct these days, is it? History. Who got it fastest finger though? Let's see. Right, Matt and Becky. Well done, Matt and Becky. Yeah, so I get really excited when Matt and Becky get it right. I don't know why. That's a bit patronising, isn't it? Like they wouldn't get it right. I believe you would get it right. I'm just excited that you're playing. You know, I haven't seen you for a long time. Uh, pronunciation again. Herodotus. H-E-R-O-D-O-T-U-S. He is known for having written the book, The Histories and Detailed Record of the Inquiry on the Origins of the Greco-Persian Wars. There you go. That was a mouthful. Well done, though, Matt and Becky. Okay, question five, though. Uh, tap the answers in the correct order. Okay, so organise these Thomas Edison inventions in chronological order from most to least recent. That is my first beer today, by the way. Uh, yeah, I've been painting all day, so please excuse me if you think I'm a bit of a bit of a lush. Not really. What beer? Okay. Uh, correct answers. Well, hold on. Who got it? I don't think anybody got this right. No, not one soul got this right. Uh, the kinetoscope, the incandescent light bulb, the carbon microphone, and the phonography. Yeah. There were the answers. No one got it right. Not a problem, no. Moving on to the next question. Okay, on this one, you need two, two answers from the four. Who were the first two men to walk on the moon? Easy peasy. Unless you disagree that they actually landed on the moon. Then you can put no one. But then you get no points. So it'll be pointless, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Yeah, we all knew that one, didn't we? Uh, so just have a look. Mr. Johnson, oh, you got the fastest finger. Around. Oh, some people are uh, wrestling, bartending, something you've probably done. Yeah, I know, Tim. I, I've done a bit of wrestling in the past, usually with. Uh, Bad customers, not at the Nags Head in other venues I have run. Uh, Assassin's Creed helped me get the right. The moon is definitely made of cheese. Of course it is, James. Brie, Tim thinks. The moon's made out of brie. More of a cannon bear, man, so let's go cannon bear. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen. Tap the correct number for question seven. How many days did English Queen Lady... Jane Grey reign. How many days did English Queen Lady Jane Grey reign? Is Tim's Lady Jane going to get this one right? Lady Jane. Okay, uh, Nags Wanderer, fast finger for you. Well done. Uh, Jane, nope. <laughs> Correct answer, nine. Yeah, de facto Queen of England and Ireland from the 10th of July until the 19th of July, 1553. Jane was the great granddaughter of Henry VIII through his younger daughter, Mary, and was the first cousin once removed from Edward V. I, I knew that. That was just off the top of my head. There was nothing on the screen telling me any of that information. I'm just a mountain of knowledge. Not. Okay. Question eight. Choose one answer for the four options. Which proxy war took place between 1950 and 1953? Oh, you're all very fast at this one. OK, 
Okay. Uh, it was a Korean War, and Trudy Holloway, you got that fastest. Well done, Trudy Holloway. It was the war between North Korea and South Korea. The war began on the 25th of June, 1950, when North Korea invaded South Korea, if you want to know. Wensleydale, obviously, Paul. <laughs> no, geez, grommet. Uh, right, question nine is a picture question. So again, I'll transfer a picture to your device. Just pick the right answer. Who is this man? Like I said, it doesn't matter if the picture gets to you before I've actually finished speaking. It's when I click the next button that counts, okay? We still don't know what the time delay is like at the minute, so we'll see how it goes. Is everyone getting the music, by the way? Someone give me a little bit of a message. Paul, James, Tim, James, anyone? Drifter? Can you hear the music? I can't turn it up any louder, but uh, anyway, Charles Lindbergh was uh, the correct answer. And you, read, you got the fastest finger on that one. Well done. James Peck, yay! You can hear the music, unless you're just saying yay, because you like saying yay. Okay, so question 10, tap the correct number. Love the music. Rebecca, thank you. Yeah, it's a little bit jazzy, isn't it? We had no music last week. It was a bit dull. Yeah, Paul Roberts. Yeah, good music. Cheers, Paul. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, so tap the correct number for question 10. Uh, Galileo published the Starry Messenger in what year? Answers can be within 20 of the answer. A lot of people getting that right, really. You're new Galileo, eh? One of the uh, acts and queen, I believe. Yeah. Galileo, Galileo, Figaro, the easy bump. I won't sing again. Sorry, sorry about that. Oh, someone's texting me. Stop texting me. Whoever's texting me. Galileo, Figaro. Uh huh. There you go. Well done, Tim. Uh, 1610, Nags Wanderer, though. You knew that one fastest, so you get the extra points on the uh, question 10. Okay, Magnifico, James Peck. <laughs> Sorry, when I say some random stuff, I'm just actually reading the messages. Don't think I'm just going a bit do Uh Right, so question 11, you need to choose two answers from the four options. What were the names of the curry couple that div dis discovered radium in 1898? Oh, I'm going to have to get up a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. My leg is getting a little bit cramped. Oh. We'll move around. It was shit back down. Sorry, I had my leg on an angle. It wasn't the most comfiest position. Uh, Mary Pierre. Uh, big peckers, you got that one right. And Marie and Pierre. Marie Pierre. Okay, so question 12 is the evil question. Okay, so we all know how this works. So organize the following English colonies by their independence date from earliest to the most recent. Yep, so organize the following English colonies by their independent date from earliest to most recent. Don't forget, fastest finger on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Fastest finger for all the questions, to be fair. This is where Google goes out the window. Yeah. Okay, so answers were D35635. You got it fastest finger on that one. Well done, D3635. Our team login as well. Uh, United States, India, Jamaica, and Botswana. Yeah, United States was 1783. India was 1947, Jamaica was 1962, and Botswana was 1966. Okay, so that is the end of round two. So I will go from fifth to first. There's no point adding the uh, sixth place on this one. Hang on, someone's texting me. Freddie with Superman's hair curl. Freddie and Superman. <laughs> yes, it is getting quite long, but there is no hairdressers or barbers open, but it's not looking too shabby. It's not looking too shabby. Right, in fifth place, Nags Wanderer. Well done. 1,537 points. Just ahead in fourth place is one at six times with 1,541 points. Okay, the Beers are in third place, 1,578 points. Well done. 
Trudy Holloway, 1,630 points, comes in second. Uh, in first place, you Reds, 1,825 points. So again, 200 points ahead uh, for that round. So well done. But it can all change in the next four rounds. Okay, so we'll move on to round three. What that will be, I don't know. Well, let's see. What would you like? Something easy? Well, it is potluck. So, yay! So, there's nothing in there. Potluck, Boo Johnson. When you were 15, you would go mental if you had hair out of place. It's not our place, though, Billy. It's not our place. It's strategically placed. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, 12 questions covering well. You'll soon find out. Let's have a go. So, question one is a choose a one answer from the four options. Most of the questions will be, I'll tell you if it's going to be different, but just go up on the assumption that is one answer from the four options for most of the questions, unless instructed otherwise. Okay. Reginald Dwight is the real name of which pop singer? Tim, yes, of course your hair is out of place. But you did look lovely with hair, but uh, yeah. Next Luther got away with it. You sound really got that bad side to you. Uh, Elton John, yeah, the governess. Well done, the governess. You got a fastest finger on that one, so that takes you straight ahead. Okay. Keep that going, the governess. Okay. Question two Which is the only country to have won the World Cup on five occasions? Yo, I'm going to run it out of beer. Yeah. Brazil, that was the answer. Well done, the A team. You get the fastest finger, so extra points for your team. Uh, question three. Right, the treaties that are concerned with the treatment of prisoners of war were signed to which Swiss city? Slobby, blouses, well done, you got that right. You can see that though, I'm not telling anyone anything wrong. Just, uh, I can see who wins and you can see who's winning as well. Okay, Geneva, Tim Cedo, you got a fastest finger in that one, so you extra points for your question. Okay, question four, right, this is different. Okay, you need to tap the answers in the correct order. So put the four stars of Rising Damp in the order they appeared in the opening credits. Oh, this one's a tricky one for people. Rising Tab was a fantastic program. Okay, for those who didn't know, uh, and the people who did know it, I'll say it anyway, uh, but I'll tell you the fastest finger was not the Dragons. So well done. So it was Lennon Rossiter, uh, Leonard Rossiter, Richard Beckinsale, Francis de la Tour, and Don Warrington. That's how the order was supposed to go. Okay, so question five. Who sang on Mark Ronson's chart topping Uptown Funk? Yeah, I knew you'd all get that one quickly. Okay, yeah, Bruno Mars. Uh, Slackers, though, you got a fastest finger in that one. Well done. Okay, moving on to question six. Okay, who was Tony Blair's deputy prime minister? See, I've gone a little bit quicker on the uh, the answers because I know you get the question when I press that anyway. But uh, if I go a quick, bit quicker on the actual answers you get to pick from, that might make it a little bit simpler for you. I don't really think you need 20 seconds to count down. Or do you? I don't know. 
Uh, John Prescott, Team Anza. And, uh, team Anza, well done. Fastest finger on that one. Okay, right. So question seven is a little bit different. You need to choose two answers from the four options. What was the first name of the Duchess of Cambridge parents? Uh, Carol and Michael, yes, Mr. Skywalker, though you got the fastest finger on that one. Okay, question eight. Which city is nicknamed Hitsville, USA? Okay, Detroit, yeah, Les Quizrebles. You got a fastest finger on that one. Yeah, it was Detroit for those who got it wrong. Okay, so moving on to question nine. Uh, Bill Sykes is a character in which Charles Dickens novel? Okay, Oliver Twist, yeah, Grifter, well done, Grifter, you got a fastest finger in that one. Yeah, fantastic novel. Uh, question 10, tap the correct number. How many sides does a rhombus have? Carol Woodcock, sorry about that, I'm not sure about everyone else, but big time delay for me, answer before the question is even read. Uh, the the question should come to you. Uh, you shouldn't get the answers until uh, I press the button to say show answers. But uh, sorry for getting a little bit of uh, Tim saying it slowed down a little bit. Yeah, it slowed. I'll try and slow down a little bit too then, uh, or go a bit faster. Which one do you think? So anyway, the answer to that one was four. It could always be just the internet. Okay, so like I said, there's nothing I can do about the internet. I am merely a platform for the quiz. Uh, yeah, Mr. Johnson, no, you got the fastest finger on that one. Okay, which beer brand is known as the dog? Is that any better, guys? Carol, was that any better? I said, I may help if I can. If I can, uh, like I said, I just need to know which way I need to slow down. That was better. Yes, thank you. There you go. So I know I know it'll go a bit quicker now instead of going a bit slower. Okay, like I said, you're waiting for me to say the question. You've already got it on your screen. So I've got to bear that in mind, okay? Uh, Juan Sheet. One Sheet. Ah, One Sheet. Yes, J is silent. One Sheet. Got it faster finger on that one. Newcastle Brown Hill was the answer. Refresh your YouTube channel. Thanks, helps. Yes, also, no, maybe not refresh your YouTube channel too much, though, because that could cut off the link. I mean, we don't want that one. We've got a lot of team on tonight, and we want to keep them all there. Okay. Uh, we're on to question 12. So we know that's the evil question. Uh, not going to explain it. Just got to answer it. So which actor played the billionaire in the film Indecent Proposal? Okay, yeah, it's Robert Redford, uh, Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen, you got a fastest finger. Uh, well done. Okay, so in fifth place, Space Rangers, 1,692 points at the end of the round. Fourth place, Les Quiz Rebels, with 1,769 points. Uh, in third place, we have, team, we have Team Anzar, 1,793. I already hear you scream at home. 
Uh, second place, Mr. Johnson with 1,836 points. But with first place is Mr. Johnson with 1,920. So well done to the Johnsons, first and second place. Loving it. I hope you're enjoying the quiz, all you lovely people. Uh, we, it looks like we've lost one, two, three, four, five, six, six teams in that round. I don't know if that was down to uh, internet connection in your ends, or it's just you can't be bothered doing the quiz, which would be a shame. Uh, but if you haven't got any issues, text me on YouTube here. We, the people who are down is Will, Fifi, Kill Keemster, Tess, Testicles, Twister, and Cindy. So any of you guys who I mentioned your name there, if you drop me a little message on uh, YouTube here, uh, we might be able to fix it for the next round. But for now, we'll move on to round four. Okay, and it's a picture round. Jane, I made two Fifi accounts. Oh, I made two Fifi accounts. That's probably why, Jane. Not a problem. Okay, so the other ones, if you want to drop me a little line as well. Uh, right, so it's 12 questions, 12 images, uh, 12 chances of fastest finger first, I guess. So uh, let's get started. Okay, this is an image of which art movement? Hmm. Yeah, Tim, I was thinking that. What's Fifi all about? That's private. Yay. Good lad. Uh, Mr. Johnson, well done. Fastest finger. Art Nouveau. Or Nouveau. Yes, that's the answer to that one. Okay, question two. The English historical figure was not famous, and which of the following things? All right, there should be no time to learn this one, though, because it is just a picture. So I don't need to do the, uh, the answers until the very last minute. Chin. <laughs> she says to Tim. I'll be ringing you straight after the quiz. Okay, inventing. Pico Paolo, well done. William Blake is considered a seminal figure in the history of the poetry and visual arts of Romantic Age. I don't think Fifi comes into romance. Okay, uh, question three. The former US president is known for playing which of the following instruments? Okay, uh, yeah, piano, dodgy quiz in the store. You got the fastest finger on that one. Played Nixon, played the fiddle. Boom, boom. Played the fiddle. Oh, Tim. Uh, this is a flag of which country? Ah, that's a tricky one. Sorry, just texting some other. About the quiz, obviously. Okay, yeah, uh, Bhutan, B H U T A N. But you, Reds, you got a fast finger on that one. Welcome back to Reds. Before you dropped out, then. Okay, this is an album cover for which band? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, uh, Red Machine, oh, you got the fastest finger on that one, so well done, Red Machine. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers was the album cover. Okay, uh, with this is outline of which country? Yeah, Tim, as if you got the chilies wrong. I'm getting a really bad knee. This is why I keep getting up and down. Age creeping up on us all. Okay, uh, Will, though, you got a fastest answer now. Oh, well done, Will. Uh, the answer was Iraq. Yeah, there we are. Iraq. So, moving on to question seven. Uh, in which country did this animal become extinct? Yeah, it's 17th century. Yeah, Tech Warriors, you got fastest to that one. It was the Dodo, of course. Yeah, it became extinct in 1681, so I believe. Okay, what is the name of this rider? Remember, it's all about fastest finger. There we go. I'm going to go back a little bit, I think, a bit close to the TV, I think, don't I? Let me go closer in. I've been in your front room. Okay, uh, Dante. Yeah, dodgy quizness, you got that one. Uh, Dante wrote the 14th century poem, Inferno. A little bit quiz back there. So when you can, where can you find this sculpture by Michelangelo? So where can you find this sculpture by Michelangelo? Yeah, so if anyone wants to send us a little message at sides, like I said, feel free. I don't mind uh, having a little bit of a chat between the questions. Uh, especially Carol Woodcock. I hope everything's still going around for you at your end. Uh, let me know. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, but the answer was St. Peter's Basilica. Yeah, it's called the Pieta. Pieta. Uh, D35635, you've got a fastest finger on that one. Okay, question 10. This scientific method, do you use this to know the exact year a tree was formed? You can hear all the lovely, uh, lovely people who don't listen to the rules of uh, staying at home outside, shouting and screaming at each other. Fantastic. Hey, uh, right, I can't pronounce this one. So it's D E N D R O C H R O N O L G Y. Yes, dendrogenology. Yeah, but Will, you knew that one anyway. So that's a loving hard word. Okay, so what is the name of this, uh, this island that was an, annexed by France in 1880? Rebecca Owen, we did drink every time we get one wrong, getting quite drunk. Oh, it's Rebecca. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, drinking game. Quiz pong. Okay, it's Tahiti. Yeah, Trudy Holloway, though. You got that one. Well done, Trudy Holloway. Okay, so moving on. So this is question 12, which is the evil question to end the round. So fastest finger on this one, okay? What is the name of the city which was the first capital of Italy? Let you go a bit quicker, I believe. Yes. <laughs> Okay, it's Turin. Turin. Uh, Will, you got it fastest finger. Oh, well done. Okay, so at the end of that round, in fifth place is not the Dragons. You've accumulated 1,292 points. 
In fourth place is the Eggheads, 1,346 points. In third place, you Reds with 1,509 points. Second place, Quislamic State, 1,542 points. But in first place, pole position is Dancing Queen, uh, 1,557 points. So well done, Dancing Queen. Uh, hope you enjoyed that round. Uh, we shall move on. Yeah, next round. What will it be? Let's have a look. Languages. How good on your languages? Bonjour. Hola. Hello. Ça va? Un bien, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Yeah, see, I'm a little bit good at that, but uh, we'll see how good you are. Okay, so which of the following is not an official language of Belgium? Yeah, Google that one quickly. See, so, yeah, I like these type of questions because obviously there is no room to cheat on these ones because it goes straight to you. Like I said, it is all about fastest finger. Uh, Mr. Skywalker, though. <laughs> Straight in, number one, straight away with the fastest finger. Uh, it's English. That was the answer for that one. Okay, question two. Picture question. What is the most widely spoken native language on this continent? Yeah. Can't Google that, can you? Okay, it's Russian. Yeah, one is six times fastest finger in that. So it takes you up a few more points there. Well done. Okay, so question three, choose two answers from our options. Which of the two of the following are French words for fruit? Let me just see where my good friend Sloppy Blazers are. Did they get this one right? Sloppy Blazers, where are you? I'm scrolling. Uh, it was Pommy and citron. Pom and citron. Yeah, next wanderer. Yeah, citron is lemon and pom is apple, for those who got it wrong. Uh, that would be... Yep, I can't see it on it. Right, so type the correct number. What number is the cat... Catrasaur in Spanish? Sorry, Blazers, there you are. Fifth place, but I got it wrong. Slackers, though, you didn't get it wrong. You got a fastest finger, so extra points for your team. Uh, correct answer was 14. Sloppy Blazers, Red Machine, and a few others. Okay, so tap these in correct order. Organised following language by the much they are taught worldwide from most to least. I see Cindy's on here tonight. Well done, Cindy. Uh, I'm assuming it's my good friend Cindy from Asda, who we got talking within two or three metres the other day while I was doing a bit of shopping. Uh, nice to see you got on the quiz tonight. Hello, Cindy. Hopefully we'll see each other again in Asda soon. Uh, the answer was English, French, Spanish and German. Yeah, Grifter, you've got a fastest finger in that one. So approximately 20% of the world's population speaks English. That's 1.5 billion people. Okay. Uh, what is the most common word in the English language? <laughs> the. Yeah, that is the most common word in the English language. Uh, what is six times? You knew that one. The right question. The right answer. Okay, question uh, seven, choose two answers. English is the official language in which two of the following countries? Any Welsh questions? I don't read the quizzes up, unfortunately, Jane, uh, but I'm sure we could get a Welsh-themed quiz for next week if people would like that. I can do it, definitely. Purely, okay. Uh, Nigeria and Jamaica, Quislamic State. You've got the fastest finger in that one now. Although English is the official language on the country, Jamaica Poitius is the most widely spoken Jamaican is an English Creole developed on the island during the slave trade. Another tongue twister. 
Okay, tap the correct number. Zwanzig is a German word for what number? Okay, slackers. You knew German there, so you got a fastest finger for that one. Uh, the answer for people who didn't get it right was 20. Yeah, Zeinzig is 20. Sorry about my uh, German pronunciation. Okay, Mark Okrand is widely credited as having created which fictional language in 1979, the year I was born? Okay, uh, Klingon. There we are. Quiz Akabusa, you knew that one. So I'm surprised the Pex didn't get that one as he's a big, huge Star Trek fan. Well, actually, uh, which two of the following are the most common languages spoken in China? You would think Chinese, wouldn't you? There we are. Not many people got that one. <sighs> yes, yeah. Mandarin and Cantonese. I was totally wrong. Uh, you Reds, though, words. You've got the fastest finger for that one. Well done, you Reds. Mandarin and Cantonese. Okay, which of the following is the Spanish word for horse? Sloppy blossoms straight in there. Boom. Loving it. Okay, uh, next one, you've got a faster finger than the sloppy blossoms, but uh, only just uh, caballo is the answer. Okay, so moving on to the next question. Okay, is the evil question. These rounds are going really quick tonight. Uh, well, let's carry on. How many official languages or European Union are there? Oh, you Reds, what happened there? This is the last question. Of course. Uh, 24, one is six times, you've got a fastest finger on that one, so extra points for you at the end of that round. Uh, the quiz fact for this one is the European Union has designated by agreement with the member states 24 languages as the official and working Bulgarian, Croatian and Czech, Danish, Dutch, English, Estonian, Finnish, French, German, Greek, Hungarian, Irish, Italian, Latvian, Lutheranian, Maltese, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Slovakian, Slovenia, Spanish and Swedish. That was the, uh, the quiz fact at the end of the round. Uh, and I'm glad you could all appreciate that. I can hear all clapping for me to get that out in one breath. But we want to know who's winning at the end of the round. Okay, so in fifth place, Eggheads, 1,493 points. Fourth place, won it six times, 1,530. Sloppy Blossers, 1,534, takes third place. Well done, Sloppy Blossers. Uh, second place, the Beers. Well done, the Beers. 1,585 points. But in first place, again, is you Reds with 1,641 points. You won it a couple of weeks ago, so well done. Keep it going, but it all can change in the next round, and then all the points get congregated together, and we'll see who's the final winner and gets the 20 quid bar tab when we reopen, okay? Uh, and if any of you are not from uh, Wrexham, I hope you enjoyed playing the quiz. Uh, we haven't finished just yet, though. Uh, this is the last round. Okay, it's the chain round. Okay, so the way the chain round works is every answer is related to the next question. Okay, so every answer is related to the next question. Easy as that. Okay, so which fictional character has friends called Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger? <laughs> Okay, fastest finger went to you, Reds. Harry Potter, obviously, big Harry Potter fan of you guys and girls. Don't know who's in your team, but I thought I'd keep it uh, PC then. Uh, 
Beatrix Potter has left most of her property a which conversation organization? Uh, National Trust, yeah, the wind's got the fastest finger out once, so that takes you straight away in the head. Well done. Okay, question three, choose one and say, what is the tallest fence in the Grand National? Yeah, these are tricky ones. Mm. The chair. Yeah, Mr. Johnson, you know you're racing. I bet you've been down Ladbrokes many times better than that last uh, last jump there, haven't you there, Mr. Johnson? you a big gambler. Uh, which word can precede chair, guitar and storm? Better Fred, yeah, it probably was better Fred there, Rebecca. Coral, Billy says, no. Uh, electric, yeah, dark horse, you've come there, dark horse. Uh, okay, next question. Which electrical light orchestra album originally featured the hits Mr. Blue Sky and Turn to Stone? Love Mr. Blue Sky, fantastic. It was also on a great movie. Uh, yeah, it was a awesome mixtape one, I believe. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know if I can say that before I get shot off by YouTube. Uh, out of the blue is the answer, though. Uh, D35635. You've got a fastest finger in that, so that gives you extra points. Like I said, it's all about fastest finger in this round because this is the last round. We've gotten through them so quick tonight, ladies and gents. Uh, and I've been waffling. Uh, next question. I never did anything out of the blue is a line from which David Bowie song? I never did anything out of the blue is a line from which David Bowie song? Okay. Grifter. Well done. Fastest finger. That's what it's about. Ashes to Ashes. Yeah, I believe that was also on the uh, the soundtrack to the actual program, Ashes to Ashes, Life on Mars, I think it was. Might have got that wrong. Someone wants to drop me a line. Uh, which mythical myth, mythical Egyptian bird rose from the ashes? Oh, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, yeah, it was the phoenix. I don't know if you can see that, did you? Did you see that one? Phoenix. There we are. I knew that one. But D35635, you got the fastest finger on that one. Well done. Okay. Uh, in an episode of Phoenix Nights, Fire Officer Keith Large recites the lyrics of which 1970s dance floor classic to a bewildered audience at a workman, working men's club? Is that even trickier then? Uh, it was Disco Inferno, the governess, though. You got that one fastest finger. Well done, the governess. Okay. Uh, which of their hits do the members of Blondie refer to as the disco song in interviews? James Peck, love that episode. Yes, it was good, wasn't it? It's nice to see we've actually kept uh, most of the teams today as well. 52, that's good. So we only lost two. I think that must have been down to uh, some technical issue. But uh, Heart of Glass was the answer for that one. And again, well done, Grifter. This is what it's all about. The next couple of questions, fastest finger. Okay. Uh, which comedian did Darrell O'Brien refer to as the dark art of Mock the Week? Okay, Frankie Boyle. Yeah, won it six times. You got a fastest finger out one. So Frankie Boyle was the answer to that question. Uh, which Frankie Ghost Hollywood hit spent nine weeks at number one? Everyone should know this one. Thank you. 
Not to become a few, uh, two tribes was the answer for that. D35635, well done. Well done. Next couple of questions, that's all that counts. Could you win it? Okay, evil question though. Who is the presenter of the TV quiz, Two Tribes? Okay, so what was the answer? Richard Osman. Uh, you read, though. Came back at the last minute, you reds. Yeah, you did. Richard Osman, though. You got it fast as finger. Uh, there's a lot of other people got that right. But that's the end of the round. So that's unfortunately is the end of the game. Uh, let's see who's won. Yeah, that's what we're all here to do, isn't it? Apart from have some fun, obviously. Okay, so at the end of the round, though, you reds came in at fifth with 1,810 points. In fourth place was Quig Akabusi, 1,820 points. In third place was Grifter with 1,841 points. Second place was the Governess with 1,888 points. But in first place on that round was the Beers with 1,922 points. Okay, so that is the round. But if they put all the scores together, who was the winner? Let's see who the champion is. Right, so in fifth place, Mr. Johnson, 8,024 points. Fourth place was Quislamic State with 8,570 points. Third place, what is it, six times? 8,611 points. Second place was De Beers with 9,297 points. Uh, and stomping the heads by ooh, at least 800 points was you Reds. Way you Reds. Well done. You win it again, second time in six weeks. So that's good. See, so people who keep playing, keep winning. That's what it's about, isn't it? And it's also a bit of fun. But your score was one th uh, 10,083 points. So, yeah, so smash that one. Uh, Billy says six to last week, fifth last week, deep lockdown going. I might win in a month. Of course, you might, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, you came seventh. If I can see that one. Mr. Johnson, yeah, just a little bit ahead. Uh, Rebecca, thank you. Well done. I yeah, appreciate that one. Really do. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Thanks for a fab quiz. Thanks, Jane. Appreciate it. Uh, let's get some more teams. Uh, the only way we can do that, ladies and gents, is if we spread the word. So every time I put something on Facebook or Google or Twitter, uh, brilliant drinking game. I know, Rebecca, yeah, every time you uh, get drink, oh, you must be steaming. Nah, well, you didn't get that many wrong. Uh, Tim, thanks, Chris. Hard this week, Chris. It was all right. Yeah, but we'll have something different. If we could maybe have some Welsh rounds, that'd be really fun as well. I can have a word with obviously the uh, the people who do it. Uh, see if we can do that one. Thanks for watching again. Good fun, JK Hunter. Thank you very much, Chris Smith. Thank you very much, Chris Smith. Uh, but yeah, a big massive well done for everyone who took part, and uh, obviously a big massive round to uh, you Reds. Smashed it this week again. Uh, Tim says, can we have music rounds? Unfortunately, we can't do music rounds because it's down to licensing. Uh, so obviously when we do the quizzes, you've got to pay for uh, the sound effects, obviously the sound music, the tracks. Uh, it gets too complicated, apparently. Uh, they are looking into it, so it is something they'll probably get in the future, but at the minute, no, we can't do it, Tim. Uh, yeah, but it's all right, as long as you're all having fun at the same time. I'll keep doing it. I never know. Our Jamesy boy, uh, the old pecs over there, uh, he might have a go next week. Might give me a night off. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep doing it. Uh, and I might even have a nice red jacket for you next week, as I did advertise on Facebook earlier. Uh, didn't arrive in time, so I couldn't wear it tonight. But, uh, yeah, till next week, I uh, hope you all stay safe and well. Uh, and keep, keep saying, keep doing things, keep talking via this or two meters across your fence. Uh, but for night, ladies and gentlemen, good night. God bless and Nosta. Oh, we have a jacket for next week. Now, this is the wives.
I'll tell you what, for a bit of a crack, let's see if it fits. I don't think this is going to work, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to rip it. It's showtime. Yeah, actually, this will save me 30 quid on uh, eBay. A little bit tight. I moved it around. Way, Tim says way. Yeah, so nice shiny. Shame I can't shut it, though. But anyway, like I said, good night from me, good night from her, and good night from him. Uh, no star, my lovelies. Stay safe. Uh, drop us a couple of likes on uh, Facebook, if you would, please. Don't forget to share the post next week. Uh, it is on Rex and Matters. Uh, also on uh, the Nags Head page. You can see all the things we're getting up to. But like I said, stay safe and stay at home, and all this will blow over. And we'll get back to normal, hopefully soon. Okay. Again, much love. Thank you all for taking part. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I know it's only something small, and maybe not everyone's uh, getting a bit fed up with me doing it. I don't know, but uh, I'll keep doing it as long as you guys keep joining in. But 52 teams, that was good. Again, please share it. Uh, we need more teams. It doesn't benefit me in any way. Uh, just obviously, uh, you guys can have a bit more fun. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you read, you've got a 20 quid voucher. So when you come in, you've got two vouchers. So uh, just drop me a line again uh, and I'll make sure I send it over. Uh, well, it won't be sending it over. It'll be here for you to collect. I uh, can't send it because we're not supposed to be working. Okay, right. Again, good night, my lovelies. Nostar.